I had a request to explain number 13 on chapter 3. So this question is talking about the isoelectric point of histones, which are protein complexes that have very high PIs. The PI is around 10.8. And the question is saying that histones are found in the nuclei of eukaryotic cells and they're tightly bound to DNA. You've got your DNA and then your histone complexes bound to the DNA. So the question is, which amino acids would you predict are part of the composition of histones. And the second part of the question is saying, how do the residues, meaning the amino acid residues, contribute to the strong binding to DNA. So for this first part, which amino acids do you find in histones? If you've got a high pKa, then, or sorry, if you have a high pI for the overall protein, you know that the amino acids have to have a high pKa. to allow for the PI to be so high. So the positively charged R groups of lysine, arginine, and histidine have high pKa's and are likely to be part of histones, particularly because at physiological pH, they're going to have positive charges. And DNA, because of the sugar phosphate backbone, has a lot of negative charges. So this goes to answer the second part of the question, is what are these residues doing in terms of binding the DNA? Well, they're providing a positive charge that's going to be interacting with the negative charge of the sugar phosphate backbone. And that interaction is going to be an ionic interaction, so it's an attraction.